tell the world why you do this. <laughs> Jesus is worthy. He's worthy of our very best. He's worth going with all the way. And he's given us the greatest invitation in the world to sit right on the very front row, center stage, and watch what he's doing. Why the cross? Why cross? <laughs> uh, the cross is the greatest message of love that this world has ever seen and ever known. It's a picture of how God takes something so horrible and so terrible, like my life, and he can make it beautiful. It's, it's God speaking to, to our hearts that he's, he's a good father and he wants all his kids to come close to him. He'd be willing to pay any price, go to any lengths to bring his children back home. It's beautiful. And I want you to say this with me, okay? Say, Jesus, Jesus. help me. I want to love you. Help me love you. With all my heart. Amen. I was losing about an inch every mile. Wow. Yeah. So you were, it was scraping. I was losing about an inch of wood as you drag it through on the ground. And so uh, they put a metal plate on it so nobody would see it. Yeah. And then the noise was horrible. Oh, oh goodness gracious. Oh. So Chris, I'm gonna ask you, what do you feel like the Lord's been saying to you in the last few days? Honestly, um, peace, that's it. That's all I've been getting in my heart the whole time. Peace, 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 peace. Peace that transcends human understanding. I'm not even hearing anything. I'm not even seeing anything. I'm only sensing peace. That's where I'm at right now. That's awesome. Peace is, peace is so important, right? Because the scripture says that the peace of God guards, protects your heart and your mind, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a work that the, the peace of God does on, on the inside of us. A lot of us have problems with our minds, but the peace of God will guard it. A lot of us have problems in our emotions, yeah. in our hearts, but the peace of God will guard it. But the problem is most people don't take time to just mm -hmm. sit in the peace of God. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like when you take time to just kind of bask in the peace of God, that it kind of, you yeah. can see that happening to you? Oh yeah. Not only that, when you give attention to God in prayer, when you give him attention and you're in that peace, that peace speaks to you, even though you're not hearing words. It's like indelibles, like uh, it rolls, like there's like rollings and rollings of peace. Yeah. And that gives you strength. That gives you edification of heart. Yeah. You can always rest in, rest assured that if you're led by peace, you're led by the Prince of Peace. Yeah, that's good. I think also in the Proverbs, it says that talking of Lady Wisdom, all her paths are peace. He guides us by this peace. So if people are living apart from peace, if you're living apart from peace, I encourage you to come to the feet of the Prince of Peace and just bask in him. Because peace is not even something that he gives as much as it is what he is. The Prince of Peace, as yeah. you said, yeah. the scripture says that the God of oh, peace, peace. I was just gonna say will that. crush Satan. He crushes the devil by peace. Mm -hmm. It's important. <laughs> He's gonna run us over. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> he pulled right up on the sidewalk. How's that for a shot? That was fantastic. Let me put up my eyes out here. I'm gonna ask you a question. Yeah. On our way. What's something that the Lord's been speaking to you recently? What have you been sharing with your church? And what's been going on in your heart? Staying under the shadow of the Almighty. Hmm. If we're ever in a season where we need to do that, we need to do that now. It's one thing to go around confessing Psalm 91. It's another thing to live in his house and stay under his shadow. What are the two words you were saying to us? Soaked and... Soak and... Uh, yoke and soak. Yeah, so what does that... What does that actually mean? To be, be yoked and soaked? Be yoked with Jesus. Stay really, really tight with Jesus and soak in his presence every day. <laughs> so I remind our people all the time, yoke and soak. Okay. Yeah. It protects you, huh? Absolutely. I preach the gospel hard, and uh, I love Jesus with all my heart, but like, just 
really just the, the, the prayer mm. is, that's really helped me what you preach. Mm. Just being with Jesus. Yeah. It's just it's awesome. So that means a lot, man. You bless me, man. Yeah. When you say that means a lot to me, man. You know he he can't even get enough of you. So much so that in the parallel in Song of Solomon, the bridegroom says that when you look at me, my heart races. Which means whenever you turn attention to him, you affect the way that he feels. Yes, he always loves you, but if the one that you love looks at you, there's a blush in that goes on. <laughs> Holiness is the fruit of being addicted to the maximum pleasure of life, which is God himself. Holiness is simply this. You are here. What more could I want? I desire you and you've given me yourself. I have all. And now you have no internal vacuums trying to grab all kinds of things for satisfaction because you're satisfied. Charles Spurgeon once wrote, Thou hast given thyself to me, for what more could I even ask? When we realize that he has given himself to us as a life supply, life satisfaction, life joy, life peace, life direction, life protection, then you find everything in one. one.